Liz Grimes here with Sassenberger College Practical Nursing Program. This video is to demonstrate your sites for your injections for NUR 115. We're going to begin with the intradermal site. An intradermal injection is given at a 5 15 degree angle and is typically used for TB tests and allergy tests. So there's only one site for this one that is the patient's forearm. It is approximately three to four fingers below the antecubital space and about a whole hand, four fingers, above the wrist. This space right in here is where you're looking for. It's called the forearm. Not a fancy medical term, okay? You're looking for the patient's forearm. You always want to make sure your site is free of any redness, bruises, bumps, rash, scar tissue. You want a clean and healthy tissue to do injections. So there's your intradermal space. It's the forearm. It's a 5 to 15 degree angle. The next type of injection is a subcutaneous injection. This injection, you're getting the needle into that adipose tissue, that fat tissue. There are five sites. The acronym APASS will help you remember them. A P A S S. Okay? Your first A is your anterior thigh. So your anterior thigh is the front of the thigh. Anterior means front of. Front of the thigh. That's your first A. Then you go to P. Posterior arm, back of the arm. Posterior means back of. So anterior thigh, posterior arm. Your second A is your abdomen, one inch around the umbilicus. So your umbilicus is your belly button. So you want to go one inch around it in any direction, as long as that site is free of the scar tissue, the redness, any irritation. Abdomen. So anterior thigh, posterior arm abdomen, one inch around the umbilicus, and then your two S's can be found on the back of the patient. I'll roll them towards me so you guys can see. Your first S is your scapula, or your shoulder blades, okay? So you got scapula, and then you got superior gluteal, or your love handle. Superior means above, gluteal is the butt, so above the butt. Scapula shoulder, superior gluteal, above the butt, okay? For a subcutaneous injection, or a sub-Q injection, as you hear a lot of nurses call it, it's either a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle, okay? If you can pinch an inch, it's 45. If you can pinch two inches, it's a 90 degree angle, okay? The method is pinch, poke, release, then inject, okay? This ensures that medication gets in that fat layer, that adipose layer. The last injection we'll be doing is an intramuscular injection, or an IM injection. Okay, there are four sites for this one. You have to know all four sites. However, we're only going to use two of them. Okay, so there's two D's and two V's. Okay, the D's are the deltoid. So you put the palm of your hand, patient shoulder, and angle your fingers down. You're going to go right between that V of your finger. Okay. We do not use this one for this class because you cannot do a Z-track method on it, okay? An IM injection is always a 90 degree angle, okay? So there's one D. Your other D is your dorsal gluteum. Again, I'm gonna roll the patient towards me so you can see. You take one butt cheek and you divide it into fourths. The upper outer fourth is the dorsal gluteal site. We do not use this because this is a site for your sciatic nerve. A lot of nurses were hitting that sciatic nerve and causing more damage than good. Okay, so we do not use that dorsal gluteal site. You shouldn't in practice. However, you need to know it for your board and for this class. Okay, so your two D's, deltoid, dorsal gluteal, you're not going to use. The two V's, you can use. The first V is vastus lateralis. Okay, that's Greek for great muscle. Okay, it's your thigh muscle. You take between the hip and the knee, and you divide the leg into thirds. You're going to the outer third of that muscle, okay? Vastus lateralis, outer third of your thigh, okay? The other one is the ventral gluteum, okay? This is going to be kind of in that hip region. You're going to take the palm of your hand, put it on the patient's hip bone with the thumb facing towards the groin. You'll notice my fingers go up in a V pattern. You're going to go right in that V, ventral gluteal. Okay? So you got vastus lateralis, 
central gluteal are the two sites you can pick from. For all IM injections, again, it's a 90 degree angle, and we teach you the z track method. What a Z-Track method is, is you pull the skin laterally or down, go in at a 90 degree angle, aspirate. You're checking to make sure you're not in a vessel, okay? Intramuscular, we don't want it in the vein. So once you aspirate, you get blood, you take it out and throw it away. If you don't get blood, you can go ahead and slowly inject the medicine, hold it for 10 seconds, and then as you pull that syringe out, you're releasing the skin with this hand. What it does is it slides back over that injection track and locks that medicine in there. Okay? Always activate your, sharp, your safety features on all your needles. Make sure you put them right in the sharp. You never recap a dirty needle. So those are the sites for your NUR 115 injection.